Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. I just want to come on film today and say hello to everybody and show my appreciation and express um, how meaningful your comments and responses and all your feedback means to me. It's like each day I wake up and I've been talking about this a lot that when we wake up and we ask ourselves, what is the next best thing that I can do, you know, to motivate myself for the day, to get happy, to get aligned, to get ready to be purposeful in a way that'll make me feel good at the end of the day. Part of that is also to remember that we have to allow for a rest period too. Like yesterday, I worked from noon till midnight. I had a lot of reads, there was a lot of concepts. I was trying to um, put into place. Sorry, I have like a cat hair. The cat just jumped on me and put like a big cat hair on me. Um, a lot of things I was trying to put into place and what I was noticing is when enthusiasm strikes, you know, strike why the iron's hot and get things done and get that momentum. But always remember, listen to your um, intuition when it's saying it's time to tune out and turn off and put your devices down and relax. And um, I've had a lot of people that have been sending questions about um, advice for relationships and things like that. And I was reading some articles and I just wanted to come on and share this before I get to the read because now that summer is going to open up and relationships are going to be able to blossom and take off there's some things we have to really do to protect ourselves so i've been watching a lot of matthew boggs and if you guys are interested in really excellent male perspective advice he's a best-selling author and he also has a youtube channel and he gives really sound advice and it makes sense and it's one of the reasons that i got into um psychology was the fact that some of my brothers like when they were in relationships would be sky high happy or down in the dumps and i thought what creates this mood and I remember being about seven or eight and being really curious about it and then I realized it was the relationships they were in and how much they impacted them so I just wanted to go over um, these 10 things that um, kept coming up of things let's put what not to do and then um, in the next videos and when we say this then we know what to do right so one of the top things too is you know keep your busy wonderful lifestyle that you have going don't sacrifice everything for them but number one is don't give up your friendships don't ghost your friends to be with this person constantly because if you're making yourself continually available to them time, the time with you isn't as precious right and I made that diamond analogy if there were diamonds everywhere and they were always available they wouldn't be rare and precious like so make your time in the beginning especially rare and precious so they have something to look forward to also um, never give up your financial independence too it's you know, never have to relying on somebody right away and feel like you're a burden in any way. Um, also, we don't try to control or change our partner in any way. You know, we're not um, evaluating who they are in our terms, right? We're just letting them be themselves 100%. Um, also, we don't give up our goals and dreams. That's what makes us special. That's what makes someone fall in love with you, your independence, your joie de vie for life and your creativity and your hobbies and who you are that make you multifaceted right we don't want to become this one dimensional drone that is like how can i serve you ar, ar, ar. <laughs> yeah no thanks and a, a big one too not being needy and insecure a lot of people that codependency it's like they think it's cute or or something and it's really not with that it can be very suffocating and also when people think that you know you're not self-reliant that's that can be very harmful um Another thing is we don't use um, possessive or aggressive behaviors, right? If another woman or man walks by, we don't all of a sudden latch arms with our significant other or have this sense of ownership about them. That's BS. So watch for that clue as well if a man is doing that to you or vice versa. We also don't let the other partner make all the decisions, where you're eating, what you're doing, what films you're watching, all of that. You want to say, and that's the beginning um, setting boundaries process of a relationship too you know men will respect those boundaries and follow women as well you know we have to set those up and work in accordance with our needs and wants too right it's the bank analogy too if someone's not constantly making withdrawals while you're making deposits and filling their wants and needs up while you're depriving yourself no way also uh, another big one was not complaining about our partners to other people um, that diminishes the whole relationship and it also says something about you you know how good is your taste if you're with this person that constantly is bothersome petty needy whatever they are right and um, it demeans the relationship and if it gets back to them it can be very harmful right um, also it's 
the most important facet too is not giving up your own identity you know you're not all of a sudden just we and Matthew Boggs just did this video that was so great talking about um, he used the um, anagram I think it's called an anagram yeah crave and he went down it and it was like you know um, what you know what you should do and what intrinsically gives a relationship value you know and of course that is a whole myriad of things and I would love for you to go listen to him because it is important that we don't just sacrifice and give because the funny thing is when we that initial love bug bites we want to give up all that time to someone we want to give them all that attention we want to just throw our boundaries out you know what would normally be boyfriend fiance privileges you know intimacy all of that you want that immediately but you don't want to jump into an insta relationship because then the mystery and the anticipation all the stuff that makes it so fun is gone right the courtship and we don't want to rob anyone of that yourself especially right so remember that too and don't expect your partner or you to be able to fill all your partner's needs, right? We need friendships for that. We need creative endeavors. We need other things. So uh, going back out into the dating pool, I just thought it was interesting that these kept coming up on my feeds and I was like, oh, I'll, and I always like to re-familiarize myself with topics that I'm speaking on too from different experts because it is a, it is a very interesting perspective, especially the male perspective, because it is very valid that, you know, that when you start that bond and that connection, it's like you just want to be like, they become your universe, but you have to be so careful not to have that be that you are still in charge of your interests, your money, what you want, where you're going, and that you don't just surrender everything to that, you know, that there's a connection. So I just want to come in and say hello and show my appreciation and just go over a couple of those things because a lot of people are DMing me. Oh, you know, I'm going to um, be able to reconnect with this person. I just met them, but now you know it's like we get to physically meet after a couple weeks so they're all excited but to remember that take things slow I don't know why we're in this insane hurry we really need to savor all those steps right it's like a good meal it's like one of those things too I equate it to anticipation is so great you ever in a restaurant and you're all excited because the food's going to come and you smell all the food around and you see it and you get excited for it right it's part of the anticipation that builds if, if you just walked in a restaurant and they plop down 20 pounds of food in front of you something something is missing there right in that equation it's the want the anticipation the pursuance looking over getting to decide right so it's one of those things instant gratification isn't what it's cracked up to be so we love that the pursuing of what we want and the anticipation of it and all of that and then all the little rich um discoveries that we have along the way for sure so again you guys thank you for all your love and support and i am going to go start the video hello everybody welcome to Nigo Terra odyssey i thought i would do a reading on what is your very next relationship going to be like i often do ones on your long term your life partner your soulmate but i want to see for a lot of you and remember this is for a collective what it's going to be like in your next relationship as you know the world is starting to open up a little bit more and we're going to be able to connect with people and actually say hello and hold hands and hug and do things like that but right before um, I let you guys make your choice and we have three choices we have air and Sun and Venus I'm gonna let you choose from those I just want to talk about this can be both dating a boy versus dating a man a girl versus dating a woman it goes both ways and I actually put this on my Instagram too and every once in a while if I come across something really concise and fitting when it comes to relationships I'll post it over there or in my patreon so come check it out it's sparkwist 11 so let me just quickly go over a couple of these dating a boy girl versus dating a man woman you know a mature person knows what they want and they go for it. an immature person may have somewhat of an idea but not really they don't think too much about it and they don't exert much effort to get it where a I'll, I'll say mature meaning woman man and immature meaning boy and girl and an immature state is passive and a mature person is assertive for this right 
a mature person is planning for their future and working towards building a foundation and infrastructure in order to have a family at some point in their life, right? The immature lives only for the moment and the plans are mostly around what bar they're going to go to or what hip club stuff of that nature. So after a while, we want to start looking into this. Again, mature is working with intelligence. They are supportive. They are grounded and they encompass a shared set of values when they choose a partner. The immature cares mostly about people that are hot, wild, exciting, good looking, so on and so forth right and also a mature person knows a good man or woman when they meet one and they will take initiative to get to know them where you know immature just makes an attempt if they're lucky they'll give up without trying the immature kind of quick want right now this is really interesting and I think this is true the mature person knows when to invest in the other person and jump in with two feet a immature person is always testing they don't fully commit because they don't know when they're quite ready and the truth is because they're immature regardless of who they meet they will never be ready due to the stage of life they're in so that's something we need to know about our next our next relationship too it doesn't matter what a catch you are how significantly awesome and and that you know you are the full package if they are not in a mature state and ready to commit it doesn't matter who you are they just don't have that in their arsenal so it's just a few things that I picked up and it actually made me want to um, start this reading to see what's going to come for you guys okay and if anything comes up in their zodiac we'll get that too remember this is for a collective so um, every last little point is going to hit so we have air sun and venus I am going to have a sip of water and then we will see what's going on I also, oh, I want to show you guys something so cool. Look what Jeannie just sent me. I just got it in the mail. It was so sweet. It says, take time to make your soul happy forever, friends. This is me and Jeannie in um, England in a chip shop. Their food was so good. And one gent was running the whole thing. And he was so awesome running around doing such sweet things for us. And it was just the best time. And it was so wonderful. I also want to show you these. Look how cute these were. These just made my day. It is the little things. Look at these little socks. BFFs with a cookie and milk. So thank you, Jeannie. You're my bestie. So you guys, let's start with air. Okay. So right away, um, it's funny. I'm going to see what's what's what will be happening this is some of the stuff that they'll bring out in you you they'll bring out your inner child and they'll make you feel safe this is lovely because um this is somebody who has integrity the mature person has integrity they mean what they say and they say what they mean so you feel safe around them you know what to expect they're established right they've established their values their boundary and all boundaries and all of that and it's important too that when we're with the right person that they bring out playfulness in us. So I feel like the next person that you're going to be dating is going to be playful, fun. They bring out your inner child. They probably love the beach and water and swimming and innocent pursuits, outdoorsy pursuits. I definitely feel this individual has that too. So let's see. I'm going to pull two signs for you guys, two possible signs. We have Capricorn and Sagittarius, which both are, that's funny, that's Ian and that's me, and we've been married 25 years, and we this this is some of the best times we have together when we're riding our bicycles, when we're walking in the park, um, going through the forest and just going on nature. I feel like that's a great way to connect, and I feel like there's gonna be an outdoorsy fun element to this. Again, earthy, grounded, logical, great planner, adventurer, philosopher loves to have a good time very lucky so that both really good signs and I am going to use one of my favorite tarot decks oh this just jumped out so I'm going to take it the chariot so soon I feel like as soon as you get out into the world I already feel like you're going to be highly magnetic and people are going to be you know showing their affection and attention towards you you know this is quick this is also I feel like a lot of you guys have been talking to people you know um, on social media and places like that and getting excited and getting ready to um, forge friendships out in the real world right we also have the moon. So your intuition is going to guide you. This particular person also is going to have a good energy match with you. I feel like your intuition knows that's the type of energy where you know what to say yes to, where to go, to feel good, um, you know, to feel like um, safe, happy, um, 
you're uh, this person too that you're going to be going out with they take the time to reflect the type of person they want to be and they put it into their values and they're established in their moral compass and they are consistent in who they are and you feel that energy that was just coming through very strongly with that also extremely good looking i keep seeing see this page energy youthful fun vibrant um really gathering their um, mental wits about them like somebody who's quick with the repartee and jokes and is funny and lighthearted and has a very youthful exuberance about them but again very emotionally um, rich you know they have a lot of emotional intelligence which means they can read the room and the temperature and what's going on and, and micro expressions and all of those things that matter to create a mood and a nice um, energy as well so yeah definitely somebody who has their act together so I want to pull another um, card and see what's what might be some factors kindness so they're very kind they're very thoughtful someone who will open a door they're aware of others um the volume they speak they're just very cognizant of the fact and self-aware of how they behave so i feel there's a lot of um uh just maturity and great manners and kind of elegance about them as well and again it's like one of those things where you're not going to um suffer fools anymore and you want somebody that um, you know, is present. That's something that, that I'm really feeling. They're very present in the conversation. They're not looking at their phone. They're not looking at other people that are around. They're not comparing or contrasting. They are truly present with you and it makes you feel really like they're super attentive and it's very endearing. So I feel like this is somebody for a lot of you guys that's going to be a keeper. It's one of those slow burns where you slowly let it unfold and you get to meet them. And as I was talking in the beginning of this too, um, you know, men automatically know from the moment that you open your mouth and women a lot of times if they want you they'll they'll have to get in line with your standards your requirements or keep it moving because done with games you're done with games and not interested in playing it's like give me the true authentic you I don't want somebody who's trying to pretend to be who they're not and this person is very authentic and I feel like their kindness just kind of sweeps you off your feet because they're very lovely it's like this kind of noble attitude towards life and um you know again being morally um accountable in things just one of those things where honesty just kind of like permeates around them so beautiful energy group one if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read or you want to go to my etsy store I have some really great new amulets that are indigo flame. They're a mix of blue and like raspberry. They're so gorgeous. And I love the cooling blue for, you know, relaxation, soothing energy and be able to express yourself. So I love that energy for you. And you guys, all my other links are now below. Come see some of my stuff over on Instagram too. And we're going to be running some more contests for free reads. My jewelry, this is something that I have in my store too. I love this. It's just like a gorgeous ruby bib of... Um, bright beautiful crystals and i just i like real statement pieces in the spring it's really nice to do that okay you guys so that's you so now we're on to sun and i feel if you chose this you like passion you like adventure you like all that so let's see what's going to be going on with this person oh you're gonna have a lot of fun with them kicking up your heels dancing they're very youthful joyful fun physical again magic of nature hikes swimming in the ocean being outside i feel like they're a very outdoorsy type and they really enjoy nature and it's not you know them just playing some kind of game it's like they are a true nature baby they feel grounded they're very ethereal i feel you know this imagery that i get is someone who's just you know you know um like the elves uh and legolas like that fleet movement like really light on their feet they just move very quickly and elegantly i feel some of that so let's see what two possible signs are as well we have scorpio and virgo so fun excitement packed virgo um scorpios you know it's one of those things fiery and passioned opinionated fun vibrant beautiful artistic creative scorpios virgos organized clean elegant sleek sophisticated virgo energy too but with a with a twist i feel like you know that particular grouping that they have a lot of um uh fire in their their moon chart because there's something about them that's very adventurous as well so let's see what's going on oh cool so we have ace of cups so this person a lot of you guys these are your soulmates that are coming in your next person and it's funny i feel like you've had a slow burn with some of these people on the internet or just getting to know them and now it's like 
All right, it's just super impactful. Right when I said that, a big black crow, my crow, landed on the branch and is cawing really, really loudly. So I feel like he knows he says yes. And it's so funny that that's a bird. So a lot of you guys, this is the one. And if it's not, they're going to hold a very important place in your heart and life for quite a while because they provide you with new insights, love. You feel like you can be vulnerable. You have a good time. You automatically know they they enfold you in their friendships. Um, they share their goals and dreams with you. They're not insecure or needy around you. There's no passive aggressive garbage going on. You know, you guys just have a lovely, beautiful compatibility that makes you feel good and makes you feel warm. And this is how they make you feel as well. Like this queen of swords, like, you know what you're talking about. You're capable. You're full, you know, you're on fleek. You're one fly gal or guy. You just feel good. You feel like you have your act together. And it's funny because we are predisposed to act a certain way around certain people. And it's usually how we've already conditioned ourselves to behave, right? You ever go home for Thanksgiving, all of a sudden you're the youngest kid again. The same kind of jokes, the same kind of stuff are all applying. You fall right back back into that persona, right? But with this person being so new and fresh, you're recreating your strongest, best self. So you feel good and confident and it's so great. You speak up for what you want, what's important to you, where you're going in life. Again, oh, beautiful. So also with the, this amount of pentacles coming up, this is somebody who works very hard. So again, it's like you kind of cherish that they are making time for you because this is someone who is um, accumulating wealth and knowledge in their businesses. I feel like a lot of these people own their own businesses too. So they are making time a way to spend with you, which is very valuable to them so you feel special again i feel like this is a, a beautiful self-contained unit a person who's emotionally intelligent hard working has great business acumen always brings fresh great perspective to the conversation very plugged in and aware so you feel their presence when you're talking they're paying attention they are not on their phone they're not looking elsewhere they are plugged into that and it's, they make you feel happy. You know, when you're loving yourself enough to set boundaries, your time and energy is precious. You get to choose how you use it. You teach people how to treat you and decide what you will and won't accept. And with this queen energy, you feel totally plugged into this. So it is a true pairing. It is a true, honest to goodness, good match up with compatibility. Nobody is taking the reins and just running with it. Everybody has these beautiful equal says. And, you know, you get, let me pull one more thing too. Yeah, I feel like they bring out a good creative side in you as well. So if you're creative anyway, they are super like, they galvanize that for you and you get to bounce ideas off them and you feel really good about it. So I'm loving that energy for you, Goop, too. Beautiful, yeah. Like, I feel like you get to exercise these fun facets of your personality that you may have had restrained in the past. And now there's just no holds barred. You feel good about yourself. You also feel 100% authentic. You're not having to prove anything. You're not having to explain yourself. You just feel good. And that, you know, that's rare at times. So that's you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below. You guys, if you want a private read and you want all the deets, I'm still running my... Um, my special it's where you get to ask two questions i create a video read for 25 dollars, and i get it to you within 48 hours some people you know it's like they just want a couple specifics and i feel like these are really helpful in that regard so tap into that all my links are down below for that too and come see me on instagram at sparkress 11 i do daily posts and memes and contests where you can win jewels and reads and good things like that because i like to give back to you guys you show your support to me in so many ways that i like to do some nice things for you guys as well so now we're on to number three which is venus so right away i feel like you guys do have love on the brain with this venus card let's see what's going on with this person so they're going to help you feel detoxification i feel like they're very healthy they may be involved in music and there is a super passionate physical bond like connection there is true passion you, they are apps you know they look like the most delicious candy in the world to you and vice versa they exude this and sometimes it's so nice you know it's like they just the confidence and all of that and their spark for life a lot of times can can do that for for people and again i feel like they may have music within their life too and they're going to help you gain good habits. I feel like they may be a vegan or vegetarian or you and you guys are helping each other with this detoxification and giving up bad habits. I also feel like you'll probably have some fun exercise programs together, walking, swimming, doing things together that are helpful in that regard. Not to mention some libido action going on there. 
Yeah, just like a high sex drive for sure. Oh, I love, okay. So let's, let's get what is going with this. And we're going to go, that's funny. I knew that card before it flipped over was going to be that. The last one was Queen of Swords. This is Queen of Wands. They are going to awaken this like fire goddess within you, this passion, this sensuality where you just feel, you know, you feel that goddess energy. You're taking care of yourself. I'm talking, you're getting body scrubs, you're getting body oils, your hair is glossy and shiny, you're feeling good, you're feeling special because they treat you that way, right? High regard, this king, earthly, solid king energy treating you like their queen. And it doesn't matter regardless, uh, male, male, female. You are being treated special like you deserve to be, you know, and you're loving yourself. And again, remember, we can be the most perfect man or woman on the Lord's green earth capable interesting cooking some cool food all of that hand out back rubs all of that but it doesn't matter if they're not ready to commit then they won't this person is ready they are empowered they are secure they are mature again they're they're on the mature part of the spectrum that i was talking about earlier you know they're working hard towards their future they're building a foundation they know what they want they go for it they they have the courage to also have uncomfortable conversations about what's going in the world and other people they face things grounded solid energy for sure and also with four of pentacles it's saying that you're going to start stepping away from overspending so you don't feel lack mentality i feel like a few of you in our i call it the convalescence period why we're in our homes a lot of people were overindulging on stuff on the internet just due to boredom and you're going to rein that in it's just one of those things i just feel that message for you that you're able to do that let's see also what signs might be coming in here we got taurus Woo. And Libra. Okay, so beautiful Taurus, you know, self-contained, self-reliant, beautiful, strong, loves a beautiful aesthetic. Libra, I always just feel like they're so well-read and so well-educated and so profound in the things that they say and they have excellent memories. They're very sensitive, very emotionally intelligent. They, they're they very present too. So again, I'm sensing extreme presence within your conversations and relationship. You never feel like you're going, hey, did you hear me? They're always listening. They're always paying attention and what you have to say is important. And again, it makes you feel valued and worthy as well. So you in turn are doing that back. So I feel this is a highly respectful, beautiful, compatible relationship where you feel good for a lot of you guys this is the one too and it's extremely long term for some of you guys this is your significant other that you will marry as well just because of the combination of um, reliability compatibility respect love boundaries um, them being so courageous and what it and being ready to invest in you with both feet let's do this not constant testing not constant tempting just they are so happy with you and you with them that you know there's nothing there's nothing else going on I feel like a lot of you guys are moving and moving to a new location as well and you know you're moving forward in your life and fearlessly so you're deciding you know I have a new destination but you have a new way of expressing yourself that's really wonderful and you never feel deprived of attention or I'm getting your point across because they're such an excellent listener, which I really love. So beautiful energy group three. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you need a private read or anything else, everything is down there for you guys. Yeah, you're feeling good. You feel content. You feel natural, authentic in your power. And also I feel that they are a great sense of emotional support to you, which a lot of us need, right? We don't want anybody that's checked out. That's like, well, whatever. We want somebody who's there for us as well. So super beautiful energy. Okay, you guys, all links are down below. If you need a private read and you want to take advantage of my two question read special for $25, just on PayPal, just put special and send me your questions in your email. And thank you all you guys for participating. Now, I started on Friday and it's, you know, I've been going gangbusters. I think I worked yesterday from midnight to, I mean, 12 a 12 p.m. till midnight. I was just all working away. Really good energy. Great day. And I love to do readings outside. It just is really excellent energy. So thank you guys again for all your love and support. And I'm going to go upload.